Coin-Op. Hey there, YouTube Coin Community. This is Dustin with Coin-Op. Tonight, we are going to be taking a look at the top five most valuable Washington Quarter varieties. Now, for the silver searchers and silver stackers out there, this was an excellent video for you because these can all be found in the silver Washington quarters. So get out your quarters and start checking and let's dive right on in. First up, we are going to be taking a look at a 1934 double die adverse. Once again, this is a 1934 double die adverse adverse meaning the front of the coin this is listed as fs 101 very strong doubling can be seen on in god we trust the date and on liberty now circulated examples tend to trade on the lower end for 120 dollars up to 550 dollars circulated meaning that it's been in people's pockets it's been passed around it has wear and tear uncirculated examples which means it's never ever been circulated tend to trade between $900 and $1,700. Now, one of these did sell in a heritage coin auction for $3,290. Now we are taking a look at a 1937 double die adverse. Once again, this is a 1937 double die adverse. It is listed as FS 101. Now, very strong, very bold doubling can be seen on In God We Trust and on the date. It is very bold. You can see it with the naked eye. This is a very beautiful uh, variety. Just an excellent example of a double die. Uh, they tend to trade in circulated condition for around $340 up to $1,100. And uncirculated examples tend to trade between $2,000 and $11,000. Now in 2014 in Heritage Coin Auctions, one of them sold for $7,050. Now we are taking a look at a 1942D, which is a Denver Mint, a 1942D Double Die Adverse. This one is listed as FS101. Very strong doubling can be seen on Liberty, In God We Trust, and on the date. Now, circulated examples on this one, meaning they've been passed around, wear and tear, tend to trade for between $150 in the lower end, up to $1,400 in the higher end. And uncirculated examples, meaning they have never been circulated, tend to trade between $2,000 and $5,000. Now, in 2015, in a Heritage Coin Auction, one of them sold for $5,640. Now we are taking a look at a 1943 double die adverse. Once again, this is a 1943 double die adverse. It is listed as FS 103. Uh, strong doubling, very strong doubling can be seen on Liberty, In God We Trust, and on the date. Now this is a very rare and scarce variety. There are not many examples of this one out there. Um, I did have quite a bit of problem trying to find values and come up with uh, values for you guys. So this is pretty much what I came up with. From what I'm seeing in auction results, it looks as if uh, circulated examples tend to trade between 300 and 2,000, while uncirculated examples tend to trade between 2,200 and 10,000. Now, PCGS's uh, price guide has them listed all the way up into 30 plus thousand dollars but I could not find any auction results to back that up so this is what I came up with now we are taking a look at a 1950 S over D uh, this is an over mint mark once again it is a 1950 San Francisco mint it's an S mint mark that was punched over top of a Denver mint mint mark uh, the S mint mark was punched directly over top of the D mint mark. Instead of the mint polishing off the D mint mark to put their San Francisco mint mark on it, they just decided to punch it directly over top of it. 
and that created this beautiful variety. Now over mint marks do tend to trade for a lot more than repunched mint marks. In all the various denominations, over mint marks tend to be very scarce. It's not that often that, that uh, they happen. Repunched mint marks happen all the time. Well, used to. Now this over mint mark is listed as FS601. Circulated examples tend to trade between $100 and $300, while uncirculated examples tend to trade between $400 and $650, more so for higher grade specimens. In 2015, one of these sold for $2,233. Bonus coin. For the bonus coin, I decided to go with some of our early coinage. Um, this is a 1796 draped bust quarter. Uh, this was the very first year that the United States Mint ever minted a quarter, and this was the only year in the 1700s that they minted them. They didn't mint them again until 1804. So the 1796 are the only quarters minted by our mint in the 18th century. So that's kind of cool. Plus this coin also has a ton of history. Now these are worth quite a considerable amount of money. Uh, circulated examples, really low grade circulated examples tend to trade for around $12,000, while higher end circulated examples tend to trade for around $55,000. Uncirculated examples tend to trade between $85,000 up to $250,000. In 2004, an MS-65 example sold in auction for $230,000. Well, there you go. We hope you enjoyed this video. We hope you found something useful in it. If you have not done so already, hit that subscribe button. Help our channel out. Hit that subscribe button and uh, go ahead and hit that like button. Hitting that like button does encourage YouTube to share our content with even more channels. So hitting that like button helps us out a lot. If you wish to help the channel beyond that, we do have a Patreon account. Uh, there is a link at the top of our channel page. You can always go click on that and donate directly to us through Patreon. We do have a website, it is VarietyErrors.com, once again VarietyErrors.com. If you have not been there yet, head on over and go check it out. You can always find myself and Robert Lawson in the Variety and Error Coin group on Facebook or in the CoinOp group on Facebook as well. So head on over to both of those Facebook groups and join on up and join in a great coin conversation on Variety and Error Coins. And once again, thank you for your view.